Hey everyone, I am here today to do a Pan That Palette update. So this will be my one month update for Pan That Palette 2016 Fall Viewer's Choice. So you guys chose the Sleek Sunset Palette. I also decided to add to that the um, Visar Matte Neutral Matte Palette just because this is mostly shimmer and I needed some matte shades to go with it. So first of all, I wanted to let you know that the thing, the tabs that hold this closed have broken. And I also threw away the Q-tip thing because I kept dropping it and it was annoying me. So here is my palette after one month of use. So as you can see, I used this shade a lot in the beginning. It's sort of, it reminds me of MAC Expensive Pink. And then I use this orange shade a lot. It's really pretty for just an all over the lid. And then I use this purple shade too. It looks a bit lighter on the lid than it does in the pan, but that's really, those are the three shades I've been using a lot of. Um, I use the gold shade a lot too. There's a pretty good dip in the gold shade. And today I'm wearing this shade. I think I'm gonna concentrate on this shade from now on. Um, I have that all over the lid. And then I put this shade, which is that lighter um, sort of pinky shade on my inner corner and blended it out. So yeah, I've been really enjoying this. Um, I love, love, love that orange shade. It's almost like I don't wanna use it, which I know is crazy, but I have a bit of that crazy in me. So um, yeah, I just, I've been loving it. These shadows do have a lot of fallout. They're all very shimmery, but I don't know. Generally, I've been really enjoying it. I've been doing a lot of all over the lid uh, looks with this palette um yeah i don't know i really like it uh the gold shade is a little flaky a little glittery flaky this shade is kind of not my favorite that really light pink it's kind of like a cotton candy pink color yeah that's more true to color right there so that cotton candy pink color i'm not a big fan of but this shade is gorgeous love that so much i love this orange shade too it just looks stunning with my blue eyes and that purple shade was really pretty as well so I enjoyed wearing that and again today I'm wearing this shade and I do want to mix the blue and the red shade together to make that purple eye but I've just been lazy and wanting to just use a single shade for my lid so that's how the sleek palette's been doing for the Visar matte neutral palette I'll show you guys that too um in person, you can definitely see. You can definitely see in person that I've used this shade and this shade a lot. This shade has a lot of powder kick up. When, anytime, if I just touch my brush to it, there's like powder kick up like crazy. This shade isn't quite as bad, and this shade looks a bit more orange on the skin. Let's see if I get really close. You can kind of see, you can see some marks in there and kind okay, there you go. There you can see it. Okay, so I have been using this shade and this shade a lot. I've been using this shade in the outer third crease area when I was using that orange shade and I used it um, today too. I really like that shade. I used this shade and this shade when I was doing the purple look. And I've used this shade a bit too, but yeah, you really can't see too much usage in the camera. But in person, you can definitely tell that I've used it. Um, but I've been enjoying it. They blend out very nicely. Good quality. Um, the packaging is really dirty and gross now, but that happens with any makeup product. Um, I did also tell you guys that I was going to be using this little Wet n Wild single in Brulee as my brow bone just to finish it up before I go to the brow bone shades in the Visart Matte Neutral Palette. So this one is almost done. I will probably switch over to using those shades within a day or two just because I don't feel like repressing this. So yeah, that's it. That's my update for the next month or so. I definitely want to work on the shade that I'm wearing today, which is this shade. Um, and then probably work on mixing these two for the purple shade and then maybe this shade too. I'm kind of hoping that I could hit pan on like half of these by the end of the three months. So by the end of the year, because that would be three months, right? September, October, no, no, the end of November. 
So by the end of November, I would like to have hit pan on half of the shades in here because then I can sort of decide, do I want to keep this palette or do I want to trash it? Or I wouldn't really give it to someone if I had hit pan on half the shades. So basically it's like, would I want to keep it or do I want to trash it? I mean, I like the shades. They do have a lot of fallout, but I do want to also minimize how many palettes I have. So right now I'm really enjoying it though. And, you know, I think I will continue to enjoy it for the next two months. And I'm happy with the progress I've made so far. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. All right. Bye.